Thank you. Good evening, everyone. We're Aspire, and thank you so much for this opportunity. If the issue of food security is one of the availability and affordability of food, then the solution is simple. Make food more available and more affordable. This has been tried for decades. However, when we travel to slums in Mexico, Ghana, Kenya, and Thailand, we found that despite the ample availability of high-fat, high-carb foods, issues like anemia among women and stunted growth among children were pervasive. Since then, organizations like the World Food Program have emphasized the importance of nutrition in their definition of food security. Aspire, however, seeks to go one step further and empower communities to generate nutritious food and make it accessible. So what is such a source of food? For centuries, whenever humanity has been faced with a great challenge, we've looked up to the skies for an answer. But tonight, I ask you to look down at the earth. The answer is at your feet. The answer is insects. Insects, also known as micro livestock, are a power food. For an equivalent amount of traditional livestock, they have comparable amounts of protein and have six times the amount of iron and calcium. In addition, 2.1 billion people across the world find insects delicious. That now includes the five of us up here. Of these, 140 million reside in urban slums and are food insecure. And of these, 40 million live in countries where the political and economic conditions are favorable for a startup like ours. But is there a willingness to pay for insects? We found that across continents, there are thriving markets for insect consumption for locally preferred insects. So this poses a paradoxical question. If insects are a power food and people love eating them, then why is there food insecurity in urban slums? This is because people are not getting enough insects in their diet due to their limited affordability and availability, which is driven by two main problems. First, insects are painstakingly hand harvested, which makes them expensive. And second, they're seasonal. As you can see here, grasshoppers in Mexico are only available for three months out of the year. So our solution is to take seasonal harvesting of insects to year-round sustainable farming of insects. We do this in three steps. First, at the farm, we empower peri-urban and rural farmers to grow their own insects. They sell these insects to their local Aspire hub, which also breeds insects and supplies the farmer with eggs. We then give the insects to our distribution partner who delivers them to the slum. In order to validate the Aspire way, as we like to call our model, we first travel to Thailand to observe very rudimentary farming practices. We iterated on those, and we launched our first pilot in Kenya with our partners, TechnoServe and Juiced University, to ensure that our model is transferable. We have continued to iterate on this technology and develop a farming unit design with entomologists and, and design engineers. The result, InstaFarm. InstaFarm, um, InstaFarm produces up to eight times the yield of current Thai farming practices. It's durable and easy to manufacture. However, our funding requirements will largely go to getting these units into the hands of farmers as quick as possible. I'll now pass it over to my colleague, Mohammed to discuss Aspire's impact. Thank you, Shobita. In order for us to reach our ambitious target of 21 million people within five years, we began with the largest slum in the world. Right outside Mexico City, Neza Hualcoitla has a population of four million people. Under the same roof, people from the same family suffer from the double burden of undernourishment and obesity. To serve this population, we rolled out the first step of the Aspire Way, and together with our partner, Fondacion Ayu, 
we have recruited over 500 peri-urban farmers who are interested and ready to go to start farming insects. And the reason why they are is because insects not only allow them to provide food for their family on a sustainable basis, but they allow them to increase their income by up to 60% monthly. In Mexico, grasshoppers, or chapulines, as they're called, are very much widely consumed. And the people of Neza consume them on a regular basis, only bearing the fact that they're seasonal. Our first step will be to provide farmers with these units. Farmers will then raise the insects and sell them to their local Aspire hub. Each hub will then aggregate the supply and then process it lightly in order to follow the last step of the Aspire way, which is distribution. Now, in order to ensure that our chapulines are reaching into the hands of people in the slums of Neza, we require a distribution partner who shares our commitment to ending food insecurity in urban slums. We are proud to announce that we have found such a partner in Inalim. Inalim has agreed to purchase chapulines from Aspire at a subsidized price and they will pass on those savings to the end consumer. In fact, to emphasize our mutual commitment to ending food insecurity, we have agreed to develop a co-branded product that will be sold exclusively in the slums of Neza. To understand the profound impact this is going to have on an individual level, I'd like you to meet Julieta. We met Julieta right outside the slums of Neza. At the time we met her, she was seven months pregnant and working hard to still feed her three children on a budget of $3 a day. Before, Julieta's 50 cents could only purchase 30 grams of chapulines. Now, she is able to afford three times the amount of protein and iron for herself and for her children. And for someone like Julieta, who suffers from iron deficiency anemia, this could be life-changing. In the first quarter, we are ready to reach 73,000 people in the urban slums of Mexico. And we can do so because our partner in Alim has already submitted an order for 10 tons of chapulines to be delivered by March of 2014. In order to deliver on time, we will need to get these farming units in the hands of our farmers and our hub set up no later than January 2014. We will then continue to add more hubs and more farmers, and by the end of our first year of operations, we will have reached a total of nearly one million urban slum residents in Mexico by empowering nearly 3,000 peri-urban farmers. And we will have succeeded in providing a solution for Mexicans by Mexicans. Over the next year, we will roll out our power flower. The government of Mexico is very excited about our insect fortified flour because it will provide a great opportunity to address and combat the issues of food insecurity in Mexico. And we have been asked to join the National Crusade Against Hunger campaign as a partner. And with this partnership, we will have unprecedented reach to raise awareness about the nutritional value of consuming chapulines. In the following year, we project to be cash flow positive, and we will enter Kenya with our product Hopchip. In the next two years, we will continue to scale in South Africa and Botswana. And by our last year, we will have reached 21 million people in urban slums and generated $18 million in free cash flow. And our impact does not end there. In order to ensure long-term food sustainability, in a world that is rapidly urbanizing and growing, at a time where resources like land and water is diminishing, we have a need for a nutritious source of food that is resilient and, and, and resource friendly. And this is where things get really exciting. Compared to the farming of traditional livestock, insects require drastically less land, water, and feed, and emit a drastically lower amount of greenhouse emissions. Our excitement about the Aspire plan is contagious. We have been recognized by the United Nations FAO as an idea whose time has come. Today, Aspire is more than an idea. Our global team of staff, partners, and advisors are committed to the Aspire way. With $1 million, we aspire to empower over 38,000 peri-urban farmers around the world to provide food security for nearly 21 million people who live in the urban slums of their own countries. We aspire to preserve a rich food tradition that is shared by billions of people around the world and which has the potential to revolutionize the way we eat. We aspire, and so should you. Thank you.